I'm going to show you how to enter the service mode and view the error codes on a GE washing machine. If you find this content helpful, please hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and if you have any questions, please leave a comment. So if you open the door to the washing machine, you can find the model number on the inside there. And with the machine plugged in but not turned on, we press and hold the start pause button until we see some lights pop up on the display screen. So with those lights on, we can now view the error codes and they'll flash like this and then you scroll through. So we have error code three, press the play again. We have error code 27 and that's it. So if you look at the error codes, the only one significant is number three. Now press any key on the display and you can exit that. Now we need to get into service mode to do a, a test. This is the test mode and you hold the start pause button while rotating the dial 180 degrees. When you do that, let go of the dial, let go of play, rather start, and the screen will start blinking. And as you rotate it, you'll have all these sequences. These are all the test options. And I just know that test number 13, or rather 14 is the spin test. So we're gonna test if this spins. You can see here the code list, the name of the code, the description of the code, and possible repair actions. So I'm going to go through all the codes. And now we're going to get in the test list. You can see here the test number, the name, and what's supposed to happen during the test. And this is test zero. This is just indicating that the control panel, all the lights work. Um, just kind of wanted to go through this to show you what the rest mean. So here are the rest.